the day. Okay. Yeah, it's leaking and the then, cartridge, isn't it? Yeah. And, and it's just just from here. Okay. I'll whip that out. I'll keep changing. All right. You'll leak there as well. Just this. Oh yeah. No, the other something as well. Oh. Right. Look. Oh, well. So we have to recharge expansion vessel first. Before we disconnect, and we've got a safe to pull that cartridge out there. So we've just used the flat blade of the screwdriver. To raise it up a little bit and allow us to pull it out. They grip quite tight on the R rings, so be careful, don't rock it backwards and forwards and snap the body there. Divert the cartridge is ready to go back in. The rings are greased up, cleaned inside the body. There we go, that's all the way home. Put that split pin back in. Diverter valve. There's also got a slow moving pressure gauge. As long with all the leaks on the mains. Just plugs there. It's got a bar of pressure in because we heard the pressure switch make. So this particular boiler, um, customer whipped the case off himself and sent us photos. And that diverter valve there that was leaking. So we've turned it with the diverter valve. However, we spotted there's another leak there, there's another leak there. I was on mains components. We whipped the case off. You see if there's an issue with the fluid there. So Spoilers deemed as not safe. We made safe and labelled. <laughs>